instructions on the top half of your card. <laughs> Someone's coming. It sounds like soldiers. And halt. Are you sure they are here? Yes. You'll know which one to arrest when I greet him with a kiss. Greetings, Rabbi. My friend, go ahead and do what you've come for. 
Who are you looking for? Jesus the Nazarene. I am he. Who are you looking for? Jesus the Nazarene. I told you, I am he. And since I am the one you're looking for, let these others go. You will not take Jesus. Ah! That man with Jesus, he cut off my ear. <laughs> Peter. Put your sword back in its sheath. I must do what God wants me to do. Don't you realize that I could ask my father for a thousand angels to come protect us and he would send them instantly? Jesus, he healed my ear. Am I some dangerous revolutionary that you need to come with swords and clubs to arrest me? Why didn't you arrest me in the temple? I've been teaching there for days. This is all happening to show you that I am God. That is enough. Arrest this man. <clears throat> So they strum up a bunch of garbage about him. They lie about him, send him into a courtroom, and that's where he is right now. And they're going to end up putting him on a cross. I don't understand it. I looked into his eyes the other day when he was when he was talking. It was like being in a Judean morning. It was so peaceful, so calm. And they're going to string this guy up. They're going to put him on a cross and put nails to him. I don't understand any of this. After Jesus was arrested, the crowd, they screamed and they yelled, crucify him, crucify him, even though Jesus had never done anything wrong. They wanted to punish Jesus and they wanted him to hang on a cross. It was a very sour and a very sad day. The day they wanted to put Jesus on a cross. Emily is going to be passing out to each of you a piece of a lemon and a half of a tablet. It's a real experience. I use some sugar. And now I take this nice little mirror. Hey, I want a hey, I want to you. You don't want lemon? You don't have to have it. I just want the yes. You want And now it tastes like lemonade. And what are they doing? They're treating him like he's a criminal. We're going to stick them on a cross. I don't understand. Do any of you? Can you help me out? What do you think, guys? Can you help me out with this? I'm, I'm, what do you think? I think he's blaspheming. Whoa. You're using, you're using big words. I don't know about that. As you let this tablet dissolve on your tongue, let me just tell you a little bit about what they did with Jesus. 
Instead of a king's crown that was glorious with gems, what you would picture a king to wear. Instead of that kind of crown, they put a different kind of crown on Jesus. They put a crown of thorns. Long, sharp thorns stuck on Jesus' head. To make his head bleed, they pushed it down as the blood ran down his face and his head. If you would, take your fingers and just kind of take your fingernails into your head just a little bit. Now just imagine the pain of a thorn sticking in your head. A crown made of those thorns. That's the kind of crown that Jesus he didn't wear a glorious crown like a king normally would wear. He wore a crown of thorns. You can only imagine the pain Jesus felt as they pushed that crown down onto his scalp. They took Jesus up onto a hill called the skull. And there on that hill, they hung my Jesus on a cross. They put his arms and his feet, they nailed him to this wooden cross. If you would, just put your arms out with me. And let's just imagine, let's just imagine Jesus hanging on that cross. Just keep your arms up. It was hours and hours that Jesus hung on that cross in terrible, terrible pain. It was a horrible, a horrible way to die. It was the way criminals died. And Jesus had done nothing wrong. And there he was with his arms spread on a cross dying with nails for his feet. Put your arms down. And the Bible, the Bible tells us that when we disobey God, that's called a sin. And we are all human. We sin every day. Jesus never sinned. Jesus was perfect. He never sinned. But he paid the price for each one of you by taking our sins to that cross. He paid that price for us so that we can be forgiven of our sins. And someday, someday, because of this sacrifice and because of the forgiveness of our sins, we will spend eternity in heaven with God because of the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross. Let's just pause for one moment and let's just consider how Jesus died on the cross. Think about the pain. Think about that crown of thorns. Think about the nails in his hands, through his feet. And he had never done anything wrong. He did it for you. We're going to find out how Jesus' death becomes something that is just much sweeter than we could ever imagine. When Jesus was taken down from the cross, when the body was taken down, myself and my friend Nicodemus, we asked permission to get the body, to take the body and, and give it a proper burial. And so that's what we did. We took the body, we anointed it with oil, we, we mixed some herbs and some spices, and we wrapped Jesus' body in a sheet. And then we placed them in the tomb. And as you know, the soldiers came along, and to make sure that the tomb was secure, they rolled a huge boulder in front of the tomb. But as you can see, the boulder is gone, and the tomb is empty. And my dear friend Mary here is about to tell you the story of what happened. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary Magdalene, and today is Easter morning. I came to the tomb, and when I got here this morning, the stone that was in front of it had been rolled away. I went inside, and Jesus' 
body was missing. I, I was so <coughs> upset I didn't know who would do such a thing. Someone had stolen Jesus' body. So I ran and told all of his friends and disciples what had happened. <coughs> I just couldn't believe it. Who would do something like this? Right now, Joseph is going to pass out some cards to you. I want you to go ahead and read the top portion of the card. Um, it talks about writing down some struggles that you have, some, some things in your life that you're not proud of. We're going to have you come up whenever you're ready. Uh, take a piece of paper up here, back to your seat, and, um, and go ahead and follow the instructions on your card. I was so upset about what was happening. I needed to go look just one more time. I went into the tomb, and this time I saw two angels sitting where Jesus' body had been. Why are you crying, they asked me. Well, I'm crying because someone has taken Jesus away from us. Just then I heard someone call my name, Mary. I instantly knew who it was. It was the voice of Jesus, and he was alive. Right now, Joseph is going to pass out some materials. You're going to get some empty containers with a spoon, and you're going to have to, we have six of them, so we'll, we'll share. And then we're also going to pass out some pitchers of water. Sit tight while we do that. wasn't in the tomb anymore. It was because he was alive. So because God died for our sins, it also means he has the power to forgive our sins. So all the stuff that we would rather forget, we can because when we accept the gift that God's given us, he erases our sins as if they never even happened. They're just water in a pitcher. They're washed away. Follow Jesus because Jesus is alive. Jesus paid for our sins forgave us so that we can have a relationship with God, so that we can be close to God. And we don't have to worry. If we believe in Jesus and follow Jesus, then we have to have confidence that we can be with him forever, for all eternity. So this gift, this gift of God's forgiveness is available to each and every one of you. All you have to do is accept it, and that's it. So we want to thank you so much for being with us here tonight, for taking time to come to each of our stations to remember God's, Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection. And we hope as you leave here, this will stay in your heart as we are entering Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And I'm going to ask Joseph to close us in prayer. Enough hard, don't do it on the edge so that we get back. Wait, oh, hold on, oh, wait, wait. We, we gotta get put oh. flower. Whoopsies, we gotta put flower on You're ready to go, huh? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. maybe I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm trying. Yeah, you put All right, here you go. Yeah. All flowers for you. <laughs> this is broke. I just broke. Oh, yeah. right. uh, uh, okay. Move the chair. Ah, you can stand. Come on. <laughs> hey, Scott, can you pick him up? I might just have to eat it out of there. Guys, it's still gonna be delicious. It will definitely be delicious. Yeah. Right, like, did you get it in the flower? I, I put it in the flower. How about I'll get that up and you go into a and different right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, there you go. Just get, get it out okay. of okay. it. Okay. Get it in the end. 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 Get it in Let's put the next one in there. Well, put the bunny in my Guys, the cookies definitely look beautiful, so I can't wait to see what they taste like. <laughs> I think you're doing great. How long? 16 minutes.